the protocol permits the specific labeling of mitochondrial nucleoids in live cells and the quantitative study of their motion at the high resolution. Incubation with the fluorescent dye only bypasses the need for fluorescent protein overexpression, avoiding related artifacts and limitations, and allowing our protocol to be applied to non-transfectable cells. To achieve preferential nucleoid staining, one should use CyberGold and nothing else under the conditions that we have optimized. Otherwise, total cellular DNA may be stained. One day before the labeling procedure, culture 4 times 10 to the 5th HeLa cells in 2 milliliters of medium in a 35 millimeter Petri dish. The next morning, wash the cells in 2 milliliters of PBS before adding 1 milliliter of phenol red free culture medium and 1 milliliter of the appropriate 2x labeling solution. After 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide, carefully aspirate the dye containing supernatant from each 35 millimeter petri dish and wash the cells with 2 milliliters of PBS. Then feed the cells with fresh phenol red free cell culture medium and return the culture to the cell culture incubator protected from light until live imaging. For live cell imaging, at least an hour before the imaging session, place a stage top incubator onto the super resolution structured illumination microscope stage and set the temperature to 37 degrees Celsius and the carbon dioxide concentration to 5%. Switch on all of the components of the microscope, including the lasers, and select a high magnification, high numerical.